Looking for the best GPU to pair with the Ryzen 5 5600G? In this video, I've done an extensive review of the top three GPUs to pair with this budget and popular CPU and rated them according to PCB design, performance, aesthetics, and cooler design and value for money. Price information and all graphics cards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number three, Gigabyte Radeon RX 6600 Eagle. Best Budget GPU for the Ryzen 5 5600G The RX 6600 is the rightful successor to the legendary GTX 1060 and RX 580. It has been forever since a GPU came out that offers exceptional 1080p gaming performance, runs efficiently, and costs less than $200. The Gigabyte Radeon RX 6600 Eagle has the 3x wind force cooler and a massive heatsink, which is almost twice as long as the PCB itself, with three fans and a single 8-pin connector. But thankfully, it is a true dual-slot card. With such a massive heatsink, even under the heaviest load, the GPU stays between 55 and 60 degrees Celsius, making it perhaps the coolest running GPU. If we take a look at the specs, the RX 6600 has an 8GB GDDR6 VRAM buffer that is connected to a 128-bit bus. While that may seem narrow, the larger 32MB L3 cache helps to achieve a 224GB per second bandwidth. In terms of performance, the RX 6600 can easily play any current generation game at 1080p ultra settings and produce about 55 to 60 frames per second on average. Even then, I recommend optimizing visual settings to balance maximizing performance and visual fidelity. Esports performance on this GPU is very strong. You can play any esport title and even games like Counter-Strike 2, Fortnite, and Apex Legends run at 1080p and very high settings at 120 frames per second. You can even push the GPU to hit 165 or even 200 frames per second by lowering the settings. If we take a look at some other GPUs under $200, then the only competition to the RX 6600 is the Intel Arc A580. The Arc A580 is on paper slightly faster and has support for AV1 encoding for those seeking it. It can be faster in some games, but due to unoptimized drivers, it can fall behind as much as half the performance of the RX 6600 in some cases. I do hope one day Intel gives both Nvidia and AMD serious competition, but right now, the RX 6600 is a far more pleasant experience without any driver crashes or game optimization issues. Speaking of Nvidia, they no longer seem interested in making budget GPUs. The RTX 3050 sits alone as their only budget offering, but it is on average almost 20% slower, while being 20% more expensive. Even though the Gigabyte Radeon RX 6600 Eagle is great for its money, it's certainly not perfect. It is severely overbuilt for what an RX 6600 needs. It could have simply been smaller with just two fans, and it would have still been an excellent card since right now, it may be a challenge to fit in smaller cases. That being said, there are smaller models of the RX 6600, but those are much more expensive and start to creep into the RX 6650 XT's territory. AS Rock and Power Cooler have RX 6600 models with two fans that are in the same price category, but the Gigabyte Eagle has a better build quality. The RX 6600 also has hardware accelerated ray tracing, but it is simply not as good as Nvidia's implementation. The RX 6600's ray accelerators seem to be a waste and any game becomes a slideshow with ray tracing on. In conclusion, if you want to get started with PC gaming and want to pair the Ryzen 5 5600G with a GPU on a tight budget, then the RX 6600 should fulfill all your needs. It barely consumes any power, runs cool, and can play almost anything at 1080p 60 frames per second with good visual fidelity. Before moving to the next graphics card, it would really help me continue making more videos if you support me by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that I know if you like it or if there's something I can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. So let's move to the next GPU. Number 2. MSI Gaming X Slim GeForce RTX 4070 Best Premium GPU for Ryzen 5 5600G If you plan to build a PC with the Ryzen 5 5600G and want to allocate the most budget possible to the GPU, then the MSI Gaming X Slim GeForce RTX 4070 is ideal. Graphics cards are getting larger due to increased heat generation. 
making it hard to find a powerful yet compact option. MSI's Gaming X Slim series aims to revive dual-slot cards that combine power with efficient heat management in a smaller form factor. Design-wise, MSI has done a fantastic job of making this GPU a true dual-slot card. The card does not extend into the third slot whatsoever, which means you will have no problem even in tight cases. The shroud has a gun metallic color and houses three fans. The design isn't going to turn any heads, but it is going to fit in easily with any PC. The GPU also comes with a new 12VHPWR connector, so you will need an ATX 3.0 power supply that comes with that connector or an adapter that converts to 8 pins. Taking a look at the specs, the RTX 4070 comes with 12GB GDDR6X VRAM connected to a 192-bit bus. Combined with the 32MB L2 cache, the RTX 4070 can produce 504.2GB per second of bandwidth. This ensures that the GPU will never be starved for data and can very quickly swap data from system memory, especially at higher resolutions. The 12GB of VRAM helps a lot in modern AAA titles, especially as games are demanding more VRAM. You can run any game with ultra-quality textures at 1440p and still have plenty of room for the VRAM to store assets. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 run at a smooth 60 frames per second at 1440p ultra settings with ray tracing turned on. If you're interested in dabbling with 4K, then this GPU can run plenty of games at 4K, medium-high, at about 40 to 50 frames per second as well. Speaking of 4K, any esports game will run easily at 4K, 120 frames per second at medium settings, but I would recommend running those games at 1440p. The RTX 4070 is arguably a better package than its competition, the RX 7800 XT from AMD. It offers DLSS3 support, superior ray tracing performance, and 3D modeling applications run flawlessly on NVIDIA cards compared to AMD's. The RTX 4070 has direct competition from the RX 7800 XT. However, with the Ryzen 5 5600G as the CPU both GPUs would perform almost the same because the RTX 4070 is already hitting the limits on the 5600G. The RX 7800 XT has an advantage in pure rasterized games and situations where more than 12 gigabytes of VRAM is needed, but that's only if you max out games at 4K where even the 7800 XT would struggle, especially with ray tracing. The added software support is why I find the 4070 more compelling than the 7800 XT in this situation. If you want to dabble in 3D modeling and animation, then the RTX 4070 has a clear win. In apps like Blender, Maya, 3DS Max, the 4070 runs circles around the 7800 XT. All in all, if you have the budget to spare and want the complete package where a GPU can not only play games at 1440p with ray tracing, but also be used as a workstation beast for 4K video editing and 3D modeling, then the RTX 4070 is the best choice. Number 1. XFX Speedster SWFT 319 Radeon RX 6800 Our top choice. The Ryzen 5 5600G offers some of the best performance compared to how low its price is. On a similar note, the RX 6800 has become my go-to choice when recommending a GPU to those who want the best possible performance at a reasonable budget. The design on the XFX Speedster SWFT319 can be best described as sober. It's a simple tried and true formula that goes well with black colored PCs. Unlike the Merc 319 and QICK319, the SWFT319 has no words written on the backplate, which is a plus point. The large branding is too loud for my taste and cheapens the card's overall look. It also has two 8-pin power connectors, but sadly, there is a BIOS switch button missing. XFX should have added a BIOS switch considering this was one of the highest-end GPUs of the previous generation. The specs of the RX 6800 are its strongest talking points. It has a large 16GB GDDR6 VRAM buffer that's connected to a 256-bit bus and a gigantic 128MB L3 cache. This nets the card a bandwidth of 512 gigabytes per second, so even some 4K gaming is possible on this GPU. And speaking of 4K performance, some games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Borderlands 3 run at 4K 70 frames per second, but games like Cyberpunk 2077 drop down to about 40 to 50 frames per second. If you do, however, use this GPU for 1440p gaming, then it should last you a very long time, as any game would work easily and give out an average 80 to 90 frames per second. 
With such good AAA performance, it also has top-notch eSports performance and can be used for running any game at 1440p and 120 frames per second. When it comes to alternatives, there are a lot of different options to choose from like the RTX 3080 and AMD's own RX 7700 XT. In terms of price and performance, all three of these GPUs are nearly identical, especially at 1440p. But the reason why I prefer the RX 6800 every time over the other two is the massive 16GB VRAM and excellent power efficiency. Surprisingly, the RX 6800 consumes the least power of all these GPUs. For example, in games like Hogwarts Legacy, the RTX 3080 consumes more than 300 watts and the RX 6800 consumes just around 190 watts of power while being only 4 to 5 frames per second slower. There is one area where the RX 6800 is going to lag behind both the RTX 3080 and the RX 7700 XT, and that is ray tracing. Keep in mind that this was AMD's first attempt while both the 3080 and 7700 XT are second generation ray tracing cards so their performance is undoubtedly going to be better. In some games, the RTX 3080 can be 20% faster, but in others, it can be twice as fast. There are instances when the RX 6800 closes the gap a lot, and that is thanks to the slightly bigger VRAM buffer. Ray tracing requires a lot of VRAM, and once the game starts hitting the 10 gigabyte limit of the RTX 3080, the RX 6800 quickly catches up. In conclusion, the RX 6800 is perfect for the Ryzen 5 5600G thanks to its exceptional 1440p gaming performance and low price tag. It should serve anyone well given its 16GB VRAM buffer and can deliver similar gaming performance as the Xbox Series X in any title.